Tanmay Bishwas, I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we will learn the reaction of Grignard reagent with oxygen. Generally, we prefer to carry out the Grignard reagent reaction in inert condition. Inert means from moisture point of view, and that is dry environment. And another thing from oxygen. So we will learn today what oxygen does with Grignard reagent. So reaction of Grignard reagent with oxygen, what is produced? So in order to answer that. I have represented this in MCQ form to make the situation easier. So, what is produced after this reaction with workup? So, four options are provided. You need to select the right answer. So, please try by yourself. I shall provide the answer after some time. Okay. So, let's start. Now, first of all, let's learn how, how the reaction is happening. If you look at Grignard reagent, this Grignard reagent is actually alkyl magnesium or aryl magnesium halide. So in this case, there is a carbon magnesium bond, and this in this case, this carbon is delta negative and moxen is delta positive. Actually, it's a significant ionic character is observed with respect to carbon-based chemistry. So what happens? It reaction. So actually, the oxygen gas available is actually a triplet oxygen, or it is actually a di radical. By the way, there is an another kind of oxygen, singlet oxygen. I have already discussed. You may visit. So this, since it's a di radical, so rad reaction follow radical pathway. And how radical react? They react in a fish hook arrow in this way. So what they'll produce? They will produce R O. So R O. One dot and another thing here, MgX. There is one radical, so we know that magnesium prefer to have plus two oxidation state to achieve its nearby octet. So consequently, this radical further react and ultimately produce this magnesium alkoxide. We know this alkoxide is relatively unstable because of alpha effect. That is the severe this lone pair adjacent lone pair lone pair repulsion consequently they are reactive and second thing if you look at this oxygen this oxygen is in minus 1 oxidation state we know the most stable oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 so that's why peroxides are oxidizing so whom they will oxidized the centers which are electron rich and in this case these alkyl group means the Grignard reagent is electron rich so consequently what will happen it will react to Grignard reagent and Grignard reagent here will act as a reducing agent and how it will, what it will reduce and it will reduce the peroxide into the corresponding alkoxide and more accurately if we write this one molecule plus one molecule so it will produce two molecules of alkoxide and upon hydrolysis of alkoxide in acidic water will produce this alcohol and MgOHx. Now question this what is the oxidation state see oxygen from the beginning was zero oxidation state after peroxo formation it is minus one oxidation state further reduction it is in minus two oxidation state this carbon. So carbon is getting oxidized and oxygen is getting reduced throughout the reaction. So what is the answer of this problem this answer is alcohol. Now if this question is provided in front of you less than 30 seconds how can you solve see what is the when Grignard reagent and oxygen so it is an oxidation reaction so RH not possible because no H2O like that thing given in the first step second is work up please don't get confused RR this is not that much easy because any another carbon based reagent I have provided so it is not possible and RCO2H I guess you should remember student for that you need carbon dioxide but remember I have given oxygen so don't get confused okay so this is the answer so in conclusion what we have learned in conclusion we have learned that Grignard reagent is actually a reducing in nature and oxygen is oxidizing in nature and oxygen is actually means the naturally available oxygen is di radical in nature that is triplet but it is not always di radical because there is a variation of oxygen which is singlet oxygen singlet oxygen so that's a different so since it's a di radical so reaction prefer the radical pathway and remember peroxides are also very reactive as oxygen atom is minus one oxidation state and alpha effect that is severe lone pair lone pair repulsion of the two adjacent oxygen atoms and in this case another important information this magnesium carbon bond has significant polarity that is it is near about 34 percent now you will say that sir 34 percent is less but remember for organic chemistry or carbon based chemistry this is significantly higher okay so this is the end of the discussion thanks for watching see you in my